we talk a lot about the mixing depth, but what does it really mean? It's the vertical height in the atmosphere through which pollutants emitted at ground level mix. It acts like a lid on the atmosphere. One way we can think about it is to look at an air parcel that rises from the ground and cools adiabatically as it rises until its temperature equals the surrounding environment's temperature. So let's draw a graph of temperature as a function of height in the atmosphere. And we'll start with an air parcel down at ground level. And we're going to draw the environmental lapse rate, dt, dz of the environment. And now we're going to warm that air parcel up at ground level. So its temperature moves to the right. And then because it's warmer than the surrounding air, it is going to rise following the adiabatic lapse rate. And it will rise and cool until its temperature is equal to that of the surrounding environment or where these two lines intersect. And this line, that point, is then the mixing depth. Because if the parcel were to rise above that point, it would be cooler than the surrounding environment and then it would sink back down. So a couple of points about the mixing depth is that during the daytime, typical values are around 2,000 to 3,000 meters. And at nighttime, the mixing depth is very low, maybe a few hundred meters. Here's how we can determine the maximum mixing depth. for a certain location, the MMD. First, just like we did on the previous slide, we draw our environmental lapse rate, dt, dz of the environment. Second, we locate the maximum surface temperature which we'll call T max, surface means at Z equals zero for the month or other period of interest. Third, we draw our adiabatic lapse rate line through T max. And fourth, the intersection point of these two lines is the maximum mixing depth. Here's an example problem. At a given location, the ground level temperature is 18 degrees Celsius, while the normal maximum surface temperature for that month is 30 degrees Celsius. At an elevation of 700 meters, the temperature is measured to be 15 degrees Celsius. What is the maximum mixing depth? Let's draw our temperature as a function of height. So for the environmental lapse rate, our dt dz of the environment at ground level, it's at 18 degrees Celsius. And then at a height of 700 meters, It's 15 degrees Celsius. And then for our maximum temperature that we're concerned about, we need to think about 30 degrees Celsius, and that is where our adiabatic lapse rate line will pass through. So what we need to do is find the equation of 
of each line, and then we can solve them simultaneously to figure out where they intersect. So we would typically think of an equation of a line as y equals mx plus b. In this case, we're going to think about this as t equals the slope dt dz. Notice that my t here is actually on the x-axis, not the y-axis. But it, anyway, it's the slope times z plus b, wherever that intersects. First, we'll figure out the equation of the line for the environmental lapse rate. The slope, dt dz, is equal to the change in temperature. We go from 15 to 18 degrees Celsius over a height of 700 to 0 meters. That gives me a slope of negative 0.0043 degrees Celsius per meter. Now I need to find the intersection point. So B is equal to T minus dT dz times z. I just took the equation for my line, rearranged it to solve for B. And now I can substitute in one of my tz points to solve for B. I'm going to pick the one at 18 degrees and 0 meters, because that's easier. So I have 18 degrees Celsius minus this slope which I'm not going to bother putting in here because my z is equal to 0. And so this means that my b is 18 degrees Celsius. So overall, the equation of the line is t equals minus 0 0.0043 degrees Celsius per meter times z plus 18 degrees Celsius. And now we'll figure out the line, the equation of the line for the adiabatic lapse rate for that one, we know that the slope dt dz equals minus 0 0.010 degrees Celsius per meter by definition. And then we need to figure out what is the, uh, the intersection point B. Well, I know that at ground level, the temperature is 30 degrees. And so 30 is my B. So my, the equation is T equals minus 0 0.010 degrees Celsius per meter times z plus 30 degrees Celsius. And now the intersection height, I can solve for by solving for these two, for t and z, where these two lines intersect. You know how to do that, so you don't need to watch me do it. But I come up with a number a value of z equals 2100 meters, which is my maximum mixing depth.